dead night is last night. It's honestly like my brain is like processing. Yes, 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 I'm so much at the moment. Which I used to have really, like, I've, my whole life I've had, like, really bad nightmares, but, like, the stuff that's coming up is, like, stuff that I guess I didn't really have time to process with really, really traumatic stuff with, like, ex-partners and stuff. It's just so bizarre because I'm, like, in this weird, like, conscious but not state. It's like I'm not asleep. But my brain, I can feel my brain, like, processing, and I can, like, see these people, and, like, it's really, really odd. I literally just woke up, but I only have two, one more sleep there, and I want to take it in. So stubborn, she won't look up. Now she's just anxious. She's just scared of people. Help me how attached you are to your Airbnb and the dog. That you follow it on its daily adventures to see where it's going. <laughs> She just came down here. I'm like, where do you go during the day? Missy, Missy Moo, are you out on the road? I think they come outside of their property to go toilet, maybe. They don't go on their own property. That's so smart. There's these ants that keep biting me and they're so sore. But I'm so determined to be outside. I was, I'm like, First of all, I wanted to get really close to the spider, and by close, I mean like under the house, like doing stupid, stupid Steve Owen type shit. And then I got bitten by so many ants that I like to fucking rip my shoes off really quick. Now I'm walking around in my slippers, and the odd ant is still biting me, but damn, ant bites hurt. Can they not? And they let me be. Oh, zoomies. So, day two of like not wanting to do normal human things or like leaving the house. I said I wasn't leaving for three days. I leave this house tomorrow only reason I am leaving is because I ran out of broccoli and well I'm soaking up my last day in nature that's definitely essential so cool this is what I call getting ready is putting two clips of my messy gross hair right now putting on some pants and that's as good as that's as good as everyone's getting it like that I can't have the standards that high because this is like the reality of most days I look great. <laughs> These sunnies are like a hundred times more of a statement that I'm wanting to make today. Like I don't really want to be seen today, but I also hate wearing clothes. And <clears throat> yeah, so that's already a problem. And then my other sunglasses I locked inside and I'm too lazy to take the key back out of my bag. So I'm going like this. Sometimes I make statements when I want to not be seen at all, but Whatever. It's funny because I have the audacity to be like, why do I go through so much petrol? And then I'll go on these like long ass missions and drive my motorbike for like 80k an hour or faster. And I'm like, uses so much petrol it's me like Skrr! i actually took this video for my partner at the time um he lives in hawaii and i was like there's ube i have to show him this is just a local food stand <laughs> i might be losing my mind but i swear the guy i'm chatting to on him oh hello um i swear the guy i'm chatting to on hinge just drove past me on his fucking scooter and i'm like 
please tell me you didn't see me but I also just sent him a fucking selfie of exactly where I'm sitting and he hasn't opened it yet I'm like don't open it till you're like way down the road because I don't want to see you just yet but this is so fucking funny Again, it's one of those days I don't want to film because I'm like, I can't even human today. Like, how, my brain, I haven't eaten. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. I have not showered. I didn't shower yesterday. I didn't shower today. So I feel disgusting because I'm poor. So, like, I have like OCD traits or tendencies. I don't like to use it lightly, but I know that does not like being autistic a lot. So, usually I'm like four showers a day, three for now. I can smell myself. So every now and then I treat myself to um, telling myself, I know every autistic person does this. Well, I shouldn't say every because I don't know everyone in the world. But um, you like convince yourself or like you forget. I don't know what it is. All I'm trying to say is I have not showered in two days and I feel disgusting. It's like I'm autistic and ADHD and I just feel like some, I'm obviously struggling. But I haven't showered in two days. And I haven't eaten today and it's like nearly 3 p.m. Does it seem easy to do? No. To you, maybe. Not to me. So I I'm getting there. Maybe by 4 p.m. I would have done something human-like for the day. No, I have been out. I've been like talking to my friend for like hours. But the the things of like eating and looking after myself is where I fall back on. time seeing a squirrel in Thailand um, I don't know exactly what type it was I remember at the time I looked it up and it said it was super rare but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that all I know is I've never seen a squirrel this color before As you can see, I'm crying. I'm a very emotional being. Not ashamed of that anymore. But um, I'm just gonna go slow so I can explain. I just left my first like first solo travel. Like now I'm so emotional. Oh my god! I just left, and she said she like can't speak much English, but she said. She was like, my daughter, I love you. <laughs> and I was like, you're gonna make me cry. And I was like, I love you too. 
That was so hard. I was joking that I was gonna cry on them and then I actually did. Another day, it's 3 p.m. and I've, I haven't had breakfast yet. Humaning is just not my best skill. I'm listening to music, however. Look at the mountains. So pretty. But I'm gonna go get some food now. I just have to do so many things before I actually feel okay to eat. I just got this pad thai. It was. 50 baht. I love when every time I try to tell you how much something costs, it makes no sense because it's in a different country. But that's like two, not even two dollars, it's like a dollar something for this. Okay, I wanted to chime in here and say this is the Hinge update. I'm actually on my way to an island to meet this Hinge guy that I talked about earlier in the video that I saw. So stay tuned. Out of all of this, look how green. Oh, I don't know if you can tell. Look how green my foot is. Like the whole thing's green, so you can't tell. That's from like a few days ago when I came. <laughs> and I fell. I tripped in the ladder. I'm too lanky, like, I can't use letters, <laughs> I swear. Like, I just jump straight on and off the boat and it's fine, but like, these lanky legs just get tangled up. But that time I like backflipped, like I had this whole bag on, I was like, boom, it was so dramatic. Everyone's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good, I don't feel pain at this time. Perks of the tism. monkeys around this corner. Maybe not today. Oh my god. I'm dead. The whole left side of my body hurts from falling onto the boat. <laughs> I just remembered how I wanted to Okay, I definitely got windy when I fell on the boat, but I can only feel it now because I just breathed and breathed. You know what I mean. Um, now I can't remember what I was talking about. Something. Um, no, it's gone. If you go to Rayleigh Beach, definitely go see my friend Bang Bang. He's just on the main strip closer to like the opposite end that you get off on the boat. Um, definitely check him out and go for a drink. Check the place out. There's monkeys and really nice drinks and yeah, bang bang, great service. Um, funny guy actually and yeah, great broccoli too. He'll make whatever you want. He also helped me um, put some ointment on my leg, which I don't know if that's weird or not, but it happened. So yeah, it actually did help. It was like something that kind of made it a bit numb and we were singing and everything, but I think I'll get copyrighted if I play it. This is bang bang. And this is from Tinder Boy's place. We went on a few adventures and it was actually a pretty fun night. And then this is in the morning. But you can guess everything else. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the video. Oh, my hat's all hanging. It's a bit much. I'm a little bit hungover today. I had a few too many... Um, pineapple margaritas last night, extra strong, and now I'm balancing it all out because I'm getting focused. 
I'm getting kiwi, pineapple, and orange. So I'm pretty much a health queen now. Go, man. Successfully didn't fall. I didn't fall off the boat, but I did get a bit drenched. So I've obviously been here just over a week now. I haven't really, like, I've been eating mainly Thai food. I've had the odd other meal. But I'm a little bit hungover. And I'm kind of thinking about getting Mackey's, but only if they have the truffle burger that I like. So I'm just going to see. I probably should go easy on the water, but a bit nauseous. Um, cool thing. But yeah, either oh, nip fell out. Um, either that or I'll just get some chicken fried rice on the way home for like two dollars instead. Update, we're not getting any Mackies because they don't have what I want. And find something a lot better for way cheaper. Like a thing of fries is a hundred baht. I know it's Mackies, but like I can get like a whole chicken fried rice with 50 baht. Does anyone else remember Bop to the Top of High School Musical? So I was at the hostel that I was staying at in El Nang and I was going out for a little gardening sesh and I was listening to Bop to the Top. So that's Oh, I was dancing like that. And here's the cute dog of the hostel. I am like dying. Like I felt really bad. I'm just like burnt out and also in a lot of physical pain. But my environment is just not okay, like, I'm not okay here, so I'm going to try to go out and find somewhere else to stay. Probably have to stay one more night here, but I'm just, like, fucking dying that my brain is going to explode if I don't move. I didn't, I just thought I, this is important again to video. I don't know if it'll look, maybe if I just look at the camera, it won't look so weird. Um, yeah, I thought this was like one of those moments it's like, ugh, I like wanna just die, but like not actually. <sighs> but I just I just need to change my environment. My boyfriend was just on the phone and he was like, babe, just like change your environment and you know that's what you need and I'm like, that is true. Like, I don't have any water or anything. I just need to get out of this room, go find something new and it'll all be fine. someone with ADHD, risky behaviour or some sort of like dopamine seeking activity, adrenaline and all that kind of stuff really helps regulate me and having a scooter slash like motorbike in Thailand was so good to just help regulate me like every single day. Not to mention how convenient and fun and how much you can explore on a bike I definitely recommend. Um, it's very loud. Quiet, I can stay because I'm really struggling, everything's so loud and I hate it. And like, I'm like, still leaving. I don't know. I forgot I was autistic. Living in the jungle, see, like, your environment is such a huge thing. Like, living in the jungle, I literally forgot I was autistic. And like, that sounds ridiculous because I was just doing some daily struggles and stuff. 
felt like it makes a huge difference in my well-being and just the noise and like the things like I'm really sensitive to like last night it's really gross things like around me I just I don't like it I hate it I hate it I hate it I'm sorry I'm not ungrateful I'm just very sensitive to my environment and I got a little update so I just went on like the biggest mission to Krabi Town to look at a few places and it's also very noisy. And I ended up just going around and I ended up just going around in circles and not really finding anywhere and I ended I did get some protein and the toasty and stuff. I am not coping if I sing it's like I'm coping. But I'm not. I swear there's no better way to treat yourself after a hard, mentally challenging day than one of your favourite foods. So this place is called Burger Daddy in Ao Nang. Go get it. It's not the cheapest if you're on a little budget trip, but it is so freaking yum. I got a burger and a pizza and yes, I ate it all. Oops.